Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick video today about some of my favourite things. So I have chosen three products, three baby things, three home things, three foods and three beauty products just to run you through and tell you the kind of things I am loving right now. So this is one of my new favourite home items. I've discovered that Waitress have an amazing home section. This is like a little chalk thing and I wrote on coffee. It looks remarkably like this, which is a similar sort of chalk pot from Anthropology. This is a fiver. This was definitely not a fiver. Um, probably like three times that. And anthropology is amazing, but insanely expensive. This Robert's radio. So we got this for our wedding and it's a little bit grubby now, but that's because I use it every day. It's in our kitchen, it's like permanently on, it's digital so you can find any station. And yeah, I just love it. It's kind of got that vintage look and I love the forest green colour. So some of you may know, if you've watched any of my previous vlogs, I have a little bit of a problem with hoarding newspaper cuttings. So if I read an article and I really like it, I keep it. And up to this point, I haven't really done much with it, so I've just got a pile of newspaper cuttings. I finally got round to doing something with it. So this is an article by one of my favourite journalists called Tim Lott. He has a blog, I'll link to it below, and he writes to The Guardian. And this is an article all about having children, just like five witty, funny reasons why to have kids. And I finally framed it, and I'm going to put it up on our wall this wooden racing ramp. So I've talked about this before in another vlog. So this is a Wicked toy. It's from Asda, it's 20 quid, it's 100% solid wood. It comes like this, so it comes fully assembled, which is awesome because a lot of these toys come in a million pieces. But this comes like that, it's got a sort of old school look. Jack really loves it. It comes with these little two cars. These are just like perfect size for him to grip and he just plays with it for ages by himself and then maybe like I play with the other toy and we're kind of racing together and it's just really really great toy. Asda do great toys, like it's a new discovery for me. This book, so as I mentioned I love anthropology and this was a gift from a friend to Jack for his first birthday. It's called A Lion in Paris and it's just got these beautiful illustrations all through it. Like it's almost so nice I kind of don't want to give it to Jack, I kind of want to keep it myself. Yeah, check out Anthropology for sort of kids books. Sometimes they're not meant for kids but they are quite kiddie. This DIY wooden toy trolley. So please don't think that all of our toys are wooden, they're not. We have a lot of plastic ones as well um, but I do really like the wooden ones. The plastic crap kind of does my head in even though Jack likes it but these two that I've pulled out here Jack really really loves as well. So this is a walker so Jack's able to practice his walking with it and also it's this sort of like cute DIY kit so he picks out the spanners and the screws and he plays with them and it's got a little trolley bit at the bottom to store them and all the bits are magnetic so they sort of stick to the trolley so you don't lose them. This is from a website called Green Wheeze that I wanted to mention because it just does loads of great things. It does homeware, it does beauty products, it does toys. All of the products have an eco or sort of green living ethos behind them. So check the site out, I'll link to it below, but this is from that. Warning though, because that one did come in quite a few pieces and took a little while to assemble. Coconut oil. So. I absolutely love coconut oil. I cannot get enough of it. I use it to moisturise, I use it to take makeup off, I use it to wash Jack's hair with. It's so, so lush. It smells amazing. It's really quite cheap. This, I don't even have the lid for it because I use it so much that it's just permanently off. This is Fushi, which is a really lovely organic brand, um, but loads of brands do it. So I recently did a natural beauty product course. I did it with a company called There She Glows. I'll link to them below. It was wicked. One of the things I made, which is now one of my favourite beauty products, is dry shampoo. So I used to use Batiste. This is homemade. It's got things like cocoa and baking powder, an ingredient called mica, lavender, and it works a treat. I have a bit of a thing with washing my hair. My friends always tease me because basically, well, I just don't really wash it that often. I just, I don't know why, I just don't really like washing it, I find it really time consuming. And yeah, I'm just really lazy basically. So this is amazing for me. The other thing I love is this hand sanitizer that I made. So with Jack, obviously I'm using hand sanitizer quite a lot, but the one that I have is just like, smells really, really strong, and also I don't like the way that it dries creepily fast. So this one is made from things like aloe vera and witch hazel and apricot kernel oil. It smells amazing, cleans your hands, and yeah, I just love it. It was so easy to make as well. 
I might do a separate video about these beauty products that are homemade if that is of interest but for me they are fast becoming my favourite products. There's so much crap into our beauty products these days. When I found out that baby wipes, you can use them to take tar off cars, I was just like oh like they must be so strong. Whole Earth Crunchy Nut Peanut Butter. If you like peanut butter, please forget Skippy, try Whole Earth, okay? There's no added sugar, it's got delicious like big chunks of nuts. It tastes amazing, amazing on toast, amazing on bagels, amazing on everything. Um, please try it. Not gonna lie, do like a bit of a snack, especially now I'm back at work and I've recently discovered nudie snacks. So these are coconut chips that are toasted. They're all natural ingredients, nothing artificial. They're also gluten free if that is of interest. And best of all, I think there's like a massive bag of them here. This got me through like quite a good amount of time just snacking. So yeah, try out nudie snacks. These are rump steaks. So the reason I want to talk about these is because they're from a really awesome company that I've just discovered called Bonitivo. I'll put a link to them below. Oh, I'm really out of breath. Basically, the best way to describe Bonitivo is, you know if you've ever been to like a farmer's market where all the produce is local and often organic and, and all from independent sellers, but then you like can't get their stuff again or you've forgotten the name or you just want to experience that again. Bonitivo is basically like an online farmer's market where they've got loads of different independent sellers selling everything, meats, cheeses, fruit, veg, oils, everything. And you can go online, go on the website, everything's categorised really neatly, place an order. That order then gets sent to the producer and then your items will arrive at your door sort of, I don't know, four days later I think ours came or less. And the stuff tastes delicious, like it is a bit more expensive, but you just get to try really, really lovely, great things. We were lucky enough to get a voucher for Bonitivo when we met them at the goat race a couple of weeks ago. But go online, have a look at their stuff. I think you might be really inspired. So that is it. Um, I hope maybe it's given you a bit more of an insight into me. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, like my video. I don't know, do a dance. That's it for this week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I always do that. Ooh. Nick, you gonna wave? You gonna wave? <laughs> hey.